We're going to be taking a look at friction hitches today. One of the most common friction hitches that we'll see used is the Prusik. And hence, since it's so common, this loop right here is known as a Prusik loop. And this is a simple piece of five millimeter accessory cord tied together with a double fisherman's knot. Now the Prusik is used in everything from recreational climbing to uh, heavy technical rope rescue. And the diameter that you use for your Prusik loop is going to be, depend upon your application. For recreational climbing, we'll usually see a five millimeter strand used. When we move into heavy Stokes litter lifts or lowers, we generally go up to eight millimeter for greater strength. Now a quick easy way to tie your Prusik is to simply grab the Prusik loop by the knot, place the knot right up against the rope, and then wrap it around three times. When you go to pull, pull the knot, but pull a little more on one side, and that will help offset your knot and give you a nice clean Prusik. Dress it up, making sure that all your loops are lying nice and flat on the rope. That way you get a maximum amount of surface area contact and a maximum amount of friction with this friction hitch. To remove the knot, simply grab the loop, pull on the loop. Sometimes your knot will tangle a little bit, but it usually rolls right off for you. So it has a nice quick release. Another friction hitch that's commonly used in recreational rock climbing more than anywhere else is the auto block. And the auto block probably gives you the least amount of friction out of the assortment of friction hitches that we use. It's commonly used as a backup uh, behind either a rappel device or maybe behind a munter hitch while lowering somebody. Very easy to tie, simply take your knot, get it towards the end of the friction hitch or the right up here, that way it'll be out of your way. And make several wraps, usually three to four, around the rope. Again, making sure that your loops stay nice and flat and even, that way you get good surface area contact. And then we'll simply clip the two ends together to create our friction hitch and then clip this into whatever we need to. This is a multi-directional knot, just like the Prusik. It can be loaded in either direction. Okay, the next friction hitch that we will be looking at is the climb heist. And the climb heist is commonly used when we're working with a longer piece of cord. Um, the only real reason to prefer the climb heist over the Prusik would be the fact that it's quicker and easier to tie when dealing with long stretches of cord, whereas the Prusik is easier to tie when dealing with a small Prusik loop. The first thing I'm going to do when I get ready to tie the climb heist is to find my knot that adjoins my strands together. I want to get it about 15 inches down my loop here to get it out of the way so it's not involved in the friction hitch. This will also keep the knot out of the way and leave me a nice long clean tail to be able to tie this off with a munter or a fixed knot if I choose. So now that my knot's out of the way, I'm going to begin to make revolutions around the rope, laying my coils nice and flat and neat until I just about run out of loop. And I'm going to take my knot and my tail end. I'm going to feed it through the loop, pull all my slack through the system, cinch my knot down, make sure it's tight and laying nice and flat and there we have the climb heist. And the climb heist is also multi-directional. It will load and grab in either direction. When it's not under a load, you can easily slide it to wherever you want it to go. To remove it, simply pull the cord back through, unravel it off the rope, and you're good to go.